you see we're in this D drive so that's where we're storing on that um, memory card yeah. okay so now you want to go back to D drive CD dot dot goes up one oh yeah so you want to make a new directory so okay. it's dot. Yeah, yeah, so then you give a name, so that's how we're doing all this today. Okay. So we're gonna this is gonna be the directory in so it'll be one of the folders on the um uh, on card. the on the card. So okay. So you make it and now we want to go to that. So, so now you'd go C D space north. Okay. Okay. okay, so now we're in that. So now you just have to make sure you're in your directory yeah. and then we have to start Imagem, which is the program that runs. It's Gem, so it's oh, that. Is it an N or an M? In the gem. Gem. Yeah. Oh, okay. So E M. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we just yeah. press enter, and it, now it will start running. Okay. It will start running the program. I don't know why. Okay. So it, <coughs> so it has to ask us a few questions before it sets up um, image gem. So it asks enter power line frequency. Yeah. Fifty. <laughs> yeah, it's fifty. But it, yes, come. It could be fifty, sixty, or eighty. Yeah. Uh, so it's 50 for us, so you just put 50 in there, okay? Okay, so once you're happy, we, we press enter, then enter starting file cuts. That's just it's going to start counting station one, station two. So we're just going to say station one because we're starting a new day. Okay. Enter survey name, I'm just going to call it Lawns again, and it has a max of seven characters. This is Dance, okay? Oh, okay, yeah. Um, do that. Okay, so now it's going to ask us enter X and Y dipole lengths in meters. So that's just you have to put the, the two lengths, so this is 10, right? Yeah, yeah, ten, ten. Right, yeah. So it's 10 for the X and space, 10, ten for the Y, okay? You do that, now it's, it's opening the directory. Then ask, are we doing low frequency mode? No, because we got the high frequency calls. Okay, okay, so just press N. Okay, so now you'll see it should have, um, so it's lawns, a 50 hertz power line, um, it's X and Y is 10 and 10, okay? Um, okay, so we, we're happy with, we're in the right directory, everything looks to be set up properly. If you guys look, oh, I should make this brighter if I can. So we're just going to go into options, just to make sure everything's going. Um, so the first thing we want to look is the scalar tensor mode. So you see right now it's scalar mode. That's what they used for the parallel test to, to actually um, test equipment. But to take measurements, it must always be in tensor mode. Okay, so I think you just click it and then Enter zero for scalar, enter one for tensor. So we're gonna do one. Okay, now you'll see it should be in tensor mode at the top. Okay. Yeah. This other stuff you don't need to do. The, the only other thing is the coherency limit. So this is something you guys will have to decide on. So it actually has a um, a coherency limit, so it, it will stack the data, and, and any incoherent noise or just won't read into the data. And maybe for field school, you just wanted to, to take in everything, so they can, you know, edit the the noisy data as well. Because the stratagem itself will remove the noisy data before you even have to process it. Mm. But the problem is you might not get signal in that coherency, so you oh, might not okay. get any signal. So mm. you guys have to decide. So um, I think now it's at the, the coherency limits for yours. And yeah, so it's 0 0.3, 0 0.5, that's okay for now. Uh, but you guys have to play and see if you just want to make it zero. You just want, want all the data to be kept on the system mm. and the, the, the guys can filter it. But we'll just keep it like this for now. So the next thing, big thing is the gain settings, okay? Never do automatic mode. The geometrics themselves, they never use this. I don't mm. get why they have it then. <laughs> okay, this is going to give you a bunch of warnings. So, the first thing to look at before you even start setting the gain. So if you see the magnetic field is 0 0.05 nanoteslas, and then again, HX is 0 0.065 nanoteslas, you want it within a nanotesla, the two, okay? Um, and then the same for the, the the EX and EY. You see it's 21.82 millivolts and then it's EY is 39.1. So you want that within a millivolt as well. So you can see there's something wrong with our electrodes. Um, but I think that's to do with noise. It also could be that weird contact we have. So what you guys can do is maybe just knock the electrodes in a little bit deeper and let's see if this changes, okay? And that's just gonna give you a bunch of warnings about the power line frequencies. Okay, so we're just gonna go into the gain setting. So you just say continue, you can just press enter again. So this is for your high pass gain. So this is for your, your high frequency data. Um, so how this works, you'll see your gains are set. Let's see, let's see a bit better, there we go. You see, 
your gains for the electric field is set to one and the magnetic field is set to one. I think the notch filter, so the 50 hertz notch, notch filter that we've, you know, we were hard coded in before we started, only kicks in after eight. Okay. Um, so. After eight what? Eight um, gain, a level oh, of okay. eight. Yeah. Because then it's like you have very noisy data. Just to show you, you see, these are the magnetic, uh, this is the EX and EY. It's not too bad, but you see it's pretty noisy, and this is what we're seeing in the, in the difference. The magnetic fields are almost dead, so we'll have to set the gain. So, um, so the first value you put in here is the electric gain, and the second value is the magnetic gain. Okay, so you have an option of negative 1, 1, 2, 4, 8, 10, 20, 40, or 80. Okay, so that's your gain options. Um, so let's, for the electric field, it's actually not bad, we'll keep it at Z2. And we'll do 8 for the magnetic field. Let's see how that changes it. You don't, to, you don't want the signal to be larger than this panel, okay? Because then it's going to start clipping the signal. So you want something like this where you can see variation in the data. Um, I mean, you can even boost the magnetic field a little bit more. So I think we're right now at 2 for the electric. Yeah. And we can go, what's 8? Next one's 10. But it could be too much. Let's see. That's okay. fine. We'll work with that. But you, ideally, you don't want anything clipping over these bands. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So once you're happy with the gain, so again, the electric field's in two and the magnetic field's at ten. You just press enter. So this is for the high frequencies. Oh yeah, you see it's, it's clipping. This is the this is the the low frequency. Okay, low pass gains. You see how it's clipping. Oh, okay. so, so we need to lower these guys so with the electric fields you can put negative one because they're already on negative one this is just because we have noise yeah oh let me just put this it's negative one and one how about the other one in okay you see so now it's it's just damped all that noise out okay um so if you so we're happy with that and then there's a middle band, this yes. is the band, band pass gain. So that's the third one you set. Yeah. Here's leaving. Okay, so once your gains are set, you then can go into acquisition. Okay. So this is your station location, so X and Y. So let's say you're starting at zero meters for X, and then Y will be the same the whole time. So it'll be zero, zero, and then your next will be zero, tw uh, 20, okay. zero. Okay. So just, let's just keep track of that, okay. Um, yeah, so zero, zero, and then the dipoles are just read from the previous configuration file. Okay, so how you now run your, um, I'm just think, um, yeah, so, so you, now you choose your band, so you can see yes, the low, the, the low frequency band is 1, so it's 10 to 1 kilohertz. The high frequency band is from 750 to 92 kilohertz. The, the band, the middle band is it, it overlaps a little bit with the with the the, the, the high frequency and the and low, low frequency because there's this signal mixing but the problem you have a ton of dead bands in okay. the middle so it's almost a waste of time to connect to, to gather them okay so what you'll do is you'll choose uh, your band um, so we'll do let's do the high frequencies first because that was exciting seven then you choose how many stacks you want to do based on how long it's going to take so we'll do um, I'll do 10 stacks and then I mean, the source, I think you had to put a one because um, it's it's also going to try and listen for a source, you know, if you have that source configuration. So you need to tell it that there's no source and I think you put one in and then it won't, look, won't wait for the source because that can take forever. Okay. okay. So yeah, so you basically choose your band, how long you want to stack. So you can retake these measurements if you're not happy with the curve. Okay. Um, and then we can run it to your year, he'll start taking measurements. You see, there's a bit of signal. So you can see this is a Fourier transfer of the time series. Okay, so he has all your signal in the high frequencies. Yeah, so he has your frequencies on the side. So the higher the frequency, yeah, the shallower it is. So this is still quite in the low frequency. Is what I mean. Like generally, there's almost no energy in the high stuff. So it just dips down completely. Okay. So you see, so it's, it's you can see at the bottom, it's, it's telling you how many it's taken out of ten. Remember those ten stacks we took in energy. So it's seven. So now it's got to the end. So now how you guys read this, so this is your coherency. So 0.5, 
So you want, you see most of the signals, so it's a TM and TY are above 0 0.5. That's actually a good signal, weirdly enough. And then this is your, your phase, and this is your resistivity curve. Uh, you know those ones I showed you? Yeah. Um, and then this is a quick, it's called a um, Bostic inversion. So it shows you the parent resistivity and then the depth that you've just measured. So you see we got down to 500 meters. But oh, most okay. of the time you can see the data up here is crap. So you'll have yeah. to take a lot of that out. And how you, how you can improve this is run this again. And it'll, it'll stack stack on these these readings again. So you just get better and better data the longer you, you stay out. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now we want to fill in, so you see this is the high frequency stuff, so let's fill in the, the low frequency, so we'll do 1 for the, the low frequency band, we'll do 10 again, and remember, 1, for, otherwise you'll see it takes double the amount of time to, to gather data, okay? So we'll let it run for the low frequency, so this is the micropulsations, okay, so this is the magnetic field of the, of the Earth, so you'll see it, it's, it's usually quite smooth. But we have a little bit of noise. You actually have to let them run almost double the amount of time as the high frequency because there's very little signal. You see, it's got like four points. You, mm -hmm. you know, for this, this few minutes we ran. So, yeah. ideally, you put like 40 stacks and let it run a lot longer, okay? So, if you look, and the problem is you see the coherences are not dipping below that point no, five yeah, ideally yeah. and you can see it, the curve is not smooth anymore it's like yeah. getting and that's usually because we're around all of this cultural noise okay so for stratagem usually i said 10 minutes a station uh, the high frequencies you see they're pretty good the high frequencies yeah. the coherences are good low frequencies you'll have to see what you're getting on the high frequencies and double that so we did 10 stacks of the high frequency the 20 for the low frequency okay just so you can get the low frequency data because i mean yeah you've got a data point at like 950 meters but it's too noisy that to invert it so you're not really going to get that scale okay remember to save so when you're done press zero to save the data okay and if you guys want you can do data analysis just to make sure you're so you'll see um it gives you a little map so we've only we have one station so if you have two or three, you'll see them on the map. Okay. okay. Um, so, to, and then you can say you want to look at station one. And then you can see, so you can see how noisy, um, so this is just the raw data, the yeah. dump data. So you can see how um, noisy the data is. We have some decently smooth curves up top there, but you know, we'll have to, see so here's the coherency. So here's, here's the dead band. Remember I told you guys there's that dead band. So you see how it dumps down the whole way. Down. And then there's, there's not much energy in the low frequencies. The high frequency is pretty good. There's some good signal over there. Um, yeah, you can actually see it slumping, the curve slumping down, yeah.